After you log on to OneNote, you will see your very own digital notebooks. Just like your class jotters and folders, you can capture and record all your learning here in lots of different ways. For example, typing notes or recording audio, sketching or drawing ideas, and even inserting files or images. Let's explore a class notebook. Your notebook is organised into sections, and each section can contain subsections and pages within this. The welcome section will include pages welcoming you to your class notebook and providing facts about how you can use class notebook in Microsoft Teams. The collaboration section will provide you with an open space to work together with your classmates on a team task. The content library is a place where teachers can share materials, for example, worksheets, which you can read and copy to your own notebook. Think of this like a big filing cabinet for your classroom. You will all have your own personal notebook. This is a section that only you and your class teacher can see. Your class teacher may have already created sections to help you organise your work. For example, handouts that they have issued as reference materials for assignments or homework where they have created pages or a space for you to complete assigned tasks. If you would like to add more sections to your own notebook, you can use the plus sign to personalise. Let's explore homework. Here you can see two pages. The top page has been issued by a teacher as an assigned task. The bottom page is blank. This allows you to record your own work, just like taking a new page in a jotter in class. When you need to take a new page, you can do so by clicking the plus symbol at the bottom of the screen. Let's explore how you could use Class Notebook to record and capture your learning at home. When you take a new blank page, the first thing that you need to do is insert a title. This helps you easily identify and keep your pages organised. You can take notes the way you want. You can type notes by tapping anywhere and starting to type. All your work in Class Notebook is saved automatically. You can also handwrite a note using the Draw tool with a mouse, a stylus or even your own finger. Select Draw and then select the tool that you wish to use. For example, Pencil, Pen, or highlighter. You can use the lasso tool to select this and resize or 
move this anywhere in the screen by dragging the content box to where you would like it to be placed on the page. You can also use OneNote to record audio notes by clicking on the microphone. This will insert an audio note into your OneNote page. This can be dragged anywhere on the page. You can also format your notes to get them just the way you want them. You can create lists, indent and align text, apply styles, undo any formatting to clear, and insert either a link, a file, or an image. OneNote automatically saves your work Let's have a look at how you could use this to complete a task that has been assigned by a teacher in your class. Just like Microsoft Word, you can use lots of other tools such as Immersive Reader. Immersive Reader is a free tool that uses proven technologies and techniques to improve reading for people regardless of their age or ability. Improving accessibility, Immersive Reader can improve reading comprehension and increase fluency for English language learners. This can be personalised to suit your individual needs. Again, by clicking anywhere on the screen, you can either type, draw, or insert an image, file, link, or audio note to complete the tasks that have been assigned.